stupid clips with each other like with a camera uh, with a uh, oh, iPhone camera and all that and um, we, we just kept doing them to, to each other so we could just put them on, on YouTube and uh, the first one was on Facebook yeah yeah we made it like a, a, a really bad well, it was pretty funny but it was uh, <laughs> like 90 songs yeah and we made fun of them and we were just it wasn't our song and then we thought maybe we can make our own song and try that so we made one called Danse Kubna Fever Supa, which is very strange. So basically um, saying it basically means you'd rather drink instead of yeah, dance or yeah. 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 I think most we like to dance but we prefer drink, yeah. That's right. the song. Basically it was started by three of you or two of you. How did who who were the original members or was It was us two. We started yeah. doing it but Tour was in the first video. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He was wasn't in the first video. Right. But uh, we needed the DJ. So right. we just uh, found this guy. And we found that he was standing out in a street shirtless. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, that's the he DJ looks great. Yeah, he looks great. on stage. Bring him on. So then let's talk a little bit about the roles because Chris and Johan, you were the two songwriters for Road Trip and yeah. probably for most of your songs were yeah. Yeah. all of his songs. Yeah. And uh, so you guys are songwriters, you perform, you do a bit of rap, you do some singing, yeah. and then tour. Yeah. Eat some apple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eat an apple, but you're there for support because, like you said, you've been yeah. in the video since the beginning. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm not in like the music development process mm. or uh, whatever because uh, that's not really my thing. Music. Um, <laughs> what is your thing? No, that's my thing is uh, I uh, I tag along and I try to have fun with the, what I what I have to work with, whatever it is. So this time in uh, in road trip it was a car and uh, try to do whatever I can, you know. Why not have fun? Yeah. You know, like Westlife. Yeah. They, uh, we know for sure that one of the guys didn't even sing. His microphone wasn't even on. Or it could be like Posh Spice. In the yeah, but, but, yeah, but they yeah. pretend that he sings. Right. We don't pretend. We just no, no, we tell it how it is. We're being honest. honest. But yeah. you know what? You guys totally do a lot by yourselves. So yeah. I'm sure the support is much appreciated. Now, your style is kind of interesting because here in Sweden, there's this thing called Jontelagen that I've yeah. heard about which is, you know, everything is just in the middle and just kind of gray and dull. But you guys like to make fun of certain mainstream cultural things here in Sweden or you do a parody of. For example, there can be things that are common all over the place like hipsters, yeah. you've done some funny videos on that. Or it could be interesting things like the stiek, yeah, stiek, stiek which yeah. is kind of like Swedish centric. Yeah. Um, so, well, first of all, what exactly is a stick? Because you did a cool video on that. Rich, like brats. Brats, yeah, yeah. brats is the word. And they have you know, there are some places yeah, in yeah. Sweden where uh, the brats go, and they party with champagne, and they uh, back wear slick. back slick they and back. these clothes and all that. Actually, the last one we did was because we were tired of that. Right. Because people do it all the time, it's not funny anymore. But we had to make it. We, we told uh, our um, fans and people that people are still doing this when they go when they go out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the the nightclub scene hasn't changed. They yeah. still do the original uh, brat. Yeah. He a little fool still. A.K.A. Greve. Yeah. This yeah. is the original. Yeah, he, yeah. he's in the video. Oh, oh really? Okay. Uh, uh, and we yeah. say in the song, ten years later, he's the same. Yeah. Like, pretty much exactly the same, he's yeah. doing exactly the same thing. 
Well, if you want to meet a Swedish guy with the hair slicked back yeah. and pastel pants, these guys Watch are out. where they hang out. <laughs> Go to Stureplan. Yeah. Go to Stureplan, that's where they are. Or Båsta or Gotland. Yeah. A lot of people also do the fake version. Like That's what we kind of make, make fun of in the video too. Like, right. they, they're not really that rich or yeah, anything like that. But then when they go out, they yeah. tend to be rich yeah. by buying all, taking all their money they made this month by working on somewhere and buying expensive champagne and doing all this yeah. just to get girls, I, I think. Speaking of a lot of mainstream cultural things here in Sweden that's funny, what is the thing that you like to make most fun of here uh, about the culture? We did, the, the last thing we did was yeah. Ken, uh, which is uh, people who take themselves too seriously in, in the music business and everything. Like, yeah. They uh, like the, the critiques of music and how they uh, they just hate hit music. Right. They want it to be like art. Underground. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, yeah. Like if you play me on mainstream radio, f you. It's not yeah. for that. Our word for that is relax. Relax. They make it a crime to make a hit song. Right. Right. But that's kind of funny because here in Sweden, Sweden's known for pumping out a lot of mainstream yeah. hits yeah. all over the world. You even have a lot of Swedish songwriters working in Korea with K-pop. So, yeah. what, why do you think that this kind of underground scene's happening right here, or the cred scene? I think we're uh, we're not appreciating the hit songs, like uh, the the great mus musicians. It's also in the movie business, I think, and everything. Like, yeah. This it's always it's always been like that. I think it's because of Ingmar Bergman. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a bit ironic that, you know, you have these two sides of the coin, but at the end of the day, someone like Max Martin is, yeah. you know, super rich, has so many billboard hits out there as a songwriter. And he, he doesn't get, get the awards in Sweden. No. They give it to Kira the Kira Oh, the really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. One of my favorite clips that I saw you guys do is, well, in English, it's Dance Like the King. Yeah. yeah. And you basically used a clip of the King of Sweden, Carl Gustav, dancing like this, like a few seconds. Yeah. And then you made it into a whole big dance video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what was the vision? You're like, is this the dancing king? That was the first time we ever made a video about a clip that yeah. we found. Like, uh, that was a viral hit, just that clip. Because even uh, later in that clip, you can't really see it because people are in front of him. But he makes a really funny move after that, right. which would have been perfect for our video, but we couldn't use it because he was, it was too crowded. But uh, this move was funny that the king is at a party, Making that move is just yeah. great to us. We love, we love that he did it, and it makes him look like you know he's just like he's all of us, fun. right? He's yeah. not the best dancer, but he wants to have fun. Yeah. yeah, and we think he's he should be allowed to have fun. He likes to party. We know that, and uh, we we think he should party, let loose. So it's a th uh, an, an anthem for. Uh, the king. Another video that I want to kind of draw uh, the, uh, our readers' attention to is uh, you did some stuff for Young York. Yeah. yeah, our first uh, commercial. In your underwear. Yeah. And it's basically boxers or briefs. Yeah. Yeah. And one of you wears briefs. Always. Is that still the case? Still the case. Now you're going to Under Hansen, second chance for Melody Festival. What was the journey like for you guys to get to Melody Festival? And did you just decide this year, hey, we got a lot of YouTube views, mm -hmm. put us in the contest, or? How did it all happen? They, they actually asked us like, I think they're three, three years in a row. Yeah. So, uh, this was the year. Yeah. But what, so they asked you, but you said no? Or yeah. Because, because you have a song if, or? If we would have done it like earlier in our, in our uh, career, we would, have, we, we would have been just like mellow uh, artists. Like, we would have been only Melody just Vaughn. But right. now we have our like fan base and everything like that before. Mm. So when we do it now, we probably will, will be only religious song artists anyway, but we had a like, good base before yeah. we did it. Yeah. What's it been like being typecasted? Because a lot of people like to typecast acts in Melody Festival in, and you guys are being typecasted as the comedy act. Yeah. Just kind of put in there for, you know, yes, it's comedy, but let's not take them too seriously. And oh no, they're taking the spot of someone who's a real, you know, singer kind of a thing. Uh, and I think that also shows, I guess, the way that the press interviews yeah, you guys yeah. as, you know, not just, you know, a flaky kind of, oh, why are they here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how do you guys feel about that? I think they're taking the competition a little bit too seriously. Yeah. Like, 
it's uh, it's entertainment, and um, we don't like the comparisons to other uh, uh, contestants before because we think we're our own thing. Well, I mean, you prove people wrong because yeah. you advance on hunts, and so the public voted for you and they support you. And the so. song is doing great on Spotify now, so. Which is great because that actually even helps you even more. Yeah. You know, the stronger fan base going into sure. into the that's what chance. we wanted. Yeah. That's why we got so happy yeah. when we got to uh, have this song yeah. on Well, it's basically yeah, yeah. it's good promotion yeah. because yeah. the other yeah. songs that go direct you can't hear it, yeah. but it's good. And for us, that's us. perfect because we felt like when you when you hear a song on TV, you yeah. don't really feel how like if you if you said the drop in the song, which is pretty uh, yeah. bumpy, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> And uh, you couldn't really hear that in the TV, I think. You guys were happy at the after party? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it just me, or did you have t-shirts on that said Pirelli? Or yeah. Like, yeah. like as in Charlotte Pirelli? Yeah, or? Exactly. it was a celebration to the great. Yeah. Legend. She got a lot of crap in the, in the media before. Yeah. How did Charlotte take that? Yeah. She loved it. Yeah, yeah. She said her, uh, her son thought it was fat coat. Which means super cool. Super cool. Very cool. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, hopefully we see the Pirelli shirts being busted out yeah. more often. You guys made Road Trip look so much fun. And, you know, I think all of us have been in a position where we've been on a road trip of some type. So I have a few questions to see who is who in the group. Okay. So who is the one on a road trip that always needs to stop for a toilet break? That's, that's you. Who is the one that likes to stick their head out the window? I think that's DJ yeah. Hunk. Yeah. Yeah. Someone like DJ Hunk, who's mysterious. I mean, I feel like you can put on a t-shirt, take off your sunglasses, and no one will know who you are. You can kind of blend in. But he's always shirtless, right? Yeah. yeah. I've never I, seen him. In he never breaks character. He'll walk around the winter like that. Props to you. Oh, it's a smile! <laughs> it does happen! <laughs> that was the goal. Amazing. Which one of you four is the one that stinks up the car? It's a tie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, those two. We're pretty good. Yeah, pretty yeah. Good. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Our That's fart glass is needed. Yeah, 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 so. Yeah. Well, uh, getting back to DJ Hunk, you, you know, not much of a talker, but we did get a tweet from a fan. And um, it's an odd tweet. Uh, this is pretty much it. It's baby oil. I'm not sure what it means. Uh, probably put it on. What is the most craziest experience you guys have had on a road trip? One time, our one of our uh, flat tire. We, we had a flat, flat tire, tire flat in tire. the middle of nowhere. Yeah. One time, and we had to go from uh, uh, one city to another to have uh, another gig. Uh, so we got lucky that uh, uh, this is my bad yeah. We got help. towing towing truck. Yeah. Yeah. came and uh, helped us out. Yeah. yeah, it could have been impossible to get yeah. help. Yeah, but for some reason there was a a place pretty close to it. Not right. very close, but it took like an hour. Yeah, but if things would have went worse, we might have to sleep in the car. Like yeah. That. yeah. And, and, and be stuck there with no yeah. food. Yeah. You got to forage through the forest for mushrooms or... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the thing about our, our song was, we say that in the song, uh, road trip isn't that much fun. It, it's fun for a while. Yeah. And we say that for maybe an hour. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> and then you really like, so you, you get all this excited about, yeah, yeah. we're going on a road trip, yeah. yeah, this is going to be so much fun, and then like... Everyone has their earphones on, they're yeah. listening to their own music, and you're like... It's not that much to do in a car. That's the reality of a road know. trip, it's not always like a Tom Green movie either, yeah. so <laughs> it's all, you know, we get to see the best bits of it. Unfortunately. But so we think, think it's pretty funny that we may make it in the song, like, it's too, we're too excited about yeah. it. Yeah. And then it's just fun for an hour, and then it's all... And like, bah. Yeah. How about that move that you guys do in the car? The, it's like a bit of night at the Roxbury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So is it like celebration? But like, yeah, yeah, of course. But then, see, I'm used to doing it this way. I, I yeah. can't do it the they other way. They do it that so. way. They do it that yeah. way. Yeah. We like yeah. this one. Doesn't matter. Do I do I have it? Am I yeah. doing it? You gotta do a road trip challenge also. What's the yeah. road trip challenge? Yeah, we do this on the social media now. We, yeah. You can win two tickets to Under Hansen. Yeah. If you do your own clip with our song and do the road trip. Really? Yeah. So, so for those of you Road Trip Challenge is a tag. Yeah. Road Trip Challenge, do the dance to your song. It's not going to get flagged for like copyright stuff, is it? No. No, don't worry. No. 
They advance to Under Hansen, second chance. So we'll see them on stage again. Road Trip is out on Spotify right now. Yeah.